So, as we were saying, we're gonna bring the razor now and we're gonna start to work and just help to, to blend everything down. Very, very simple, very straightforward. But the secret, I'm being quite light here. I'm not being really quite aggressive. And again, this is where the different blades that are available are, some, some blades are right. So um, we have the standard R-type blade, which is much more aggressive. D using a blade like that here would possibly take too much hair off. Again, one of the reasons why we're using the standard feather blade to work here. So as we start to work over the hair. Look at the angle, I'm 90 degrees to that part of the head. And I'm just gradually and gently going over the hair. And you can see that we're taking off a bit, it's not masses, but let's remove that and let's start to look at the hair. And this is what you must do with the hair when razor cutting. Don't keep putting it into this perfect shape and everything. Because when you do that, you lose the movement in the hair and it won't tell you as much. So the hair itself is telling me things. So again, the way that I can see this roundedness higher up here, if we turn him round, this bit of the haircut there, as we you see that and we start to just go over that one area, what will happen is now that I'm combing the hair, you'll now be able to see that that has started to diminish and be more this way than more that way. So again, it's just, it highlights the fact that I don't need to work on the bit next to it, but if I sectioned it off and separated, I would have to. So razoring is quite freehand and extremely visual. So let's just work through. Slightly forward, that's perfect. I'm just using the comb here at the same time, purely and simply, just to clean any hair away that we actually cut during the stroke with the razor. So as you can see, you can do it this way, but you, you get tangles a little bit. So once we've gone over this and sliced over that area, look at the different profile now that we get on that haircut. So again, it's very important, a couple of things. The first one is that you understand how the hair works and also that you can see different parts of the haircut because the different parts of the haircut that you see will tell you what you need to do. So just having a quick recap of that, look at it again from this angle. You can see here we've got nice a nice uh, graduated shape there. But as I start to come round, look just here. So again, I think at that point, you'll probably be able to see that it's a little bit more rounded here. And this is because as we've worked in this area and then we've come across and we've come across again, we've got to roughly about there and then we haven't got to this bit now. So that just shows you we just continue and work our way around the haircut. And just as I'm, as I'm doing it, I'm continually looking at the rest of the other parts as it all forms, just to make sure that we're thin enough and it's, it's um, still the right sort of contour and angle and shape and thickness that we're looking to achieve.